What's up, JSHG here to talk about my love for the Audioscape 260VU. Let's get into it. Now, what I think is one of the coolest ways to use this compressor that I learned about by reading on forums, and I was talking to my friend Joe at Midwest Modular, and he was talking about the DBX style compressor <clears throat> on drum machines and electronic drums. And I immediately sent him a link to the 260VU and he was like, I gotta have this. So I immediately jumped in and I was like, let's hear what it sounds like to hear these iconic style drums, 808s, 909s, you know, Lindrum, all that stuff through this compressor. Now, what's interesting about it is you actually lose some of that sonic vastness that you would get from something that's uncompressed but what you gain is nostalgic vibe which i've always wanted because the plugins are so good at just making stuff just slam and be beyond what you ever thought they would be and sometimes you just want some vibe all i want is vibe sometimes and this is one of those compressors that i can run anything through it and i'm just like oh that's what i needed 260VU to the rescue. So here's a little standard beat that I programmed in Machine, which is awesome from Native Instruments. Let's have a listen. So classic 808, you know, roller skating, rink, shuffle skating, you know, whatever, public enemy, all these different things that are so sick. So many people use 808s in such creative ways. And the 808 had one of the, you know, one of the best sequencers that I feel like a lot of modern sequencers are based off of. So let's jump up here and throw this 260VU on and let's have a listen to how it grabs that low end. Now you can hear that, like it's automatically just that time period. Now, let me try to hit it a little harder. Hold on. Now, this is gonna be hitting harder. Here we go. Obviously, I'm clipping. Machine's really hot out of the gate. Really hot. So I could turn it down, but it sounds cool. Let's try a different kit. Uh, there's another one down here I really like. I think it's this one. Let's hear it without it. That sounds great. You know, the, also these native instruments, these, these curated drum kits are just, you know, they're kind of perfect. So sometimes that's cool and bad. I mean, that's kind of sick in my, my opinion. I, I just feel like it sounds like a time period, which I love, and we can apply it to our modern recordings. Oh, uh, let's see if there's another kid in here I can't live without. Trip Trap. All right, let's hear it without it. Very big, very what you think. Let's hear it with it. And you can see what I'm talking about. It just sounds like 89 to like 92. Like I feel like I'm roller skating. Backwards, spaghetti legs. Anyway, super sick, so great on things like this. All right, obvious ways of using the Audioscape 260VU drums because of anything that hits hard. Um, it's so good at that. Now, it, it does have a thing that grabs so much that you do lose a little bottom end, but I think it's really cool. Um, this is the Norma Jean record, record Death Rattle uh, Sing For Me that I did. Let's listen to these drums. Very cool. Let's hear it with the 260VU. Very nice.
Now let's hear it with the 260 VU. Now on this record, I really wish I had had the 260 VU because we were going for just like chaos, real sounding, heavy band, you know, just noise. Ugh. And I feel like it would have really have applied to a lot of things really well. You can hear it bringing that snare drum out. Now, I know compression does that and the dynamic control, blah, 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 all that stuff. But this does it in a cool way. And I told Chris once from Audioscape that it's EQing things for me without me having to do anything, which I love. And you can hear it here. So listen again. Pay attention to the snare and like that high mids. I mean, I think it's sick. Wish I had this during the recording. All right, so outside of the obvious things like drums, electronic drum machines, things like that, the 260 VU is great on that stuff. It is. But outside of that, <clears throat> I think it's excellent on subtle things. I really like it on strings, and I really like it on piano. This is a little piece I've been working on, Neil, New Beale Street Mach. If you've seen the movie, um, if Beale Street could talk, it's one of my favorite scores of all time, and I'm forever trying to copy it, so I'm sorry. Um, but let's listen to the piano here, and I just used, you know, uh, a Spitfire piano. Let's have a listen. So this piano is sampled very well, so it sounds really good. So I feel like we'll be able to bring out some of the nuances. Let's enable the 260VU. You hear what I'm talking about, automatic nostalgia. Just really nice, really good on piano. Now, I, I by mistake the other day put it on to strings and I found that I absolutely loved it. Um, let's listen to the arrangement I have going here. really nice. Let's hear it with the 260VU.
Now, I find that an interesting example because I'm slamming it. And it's just bringing out those upper mids and those high, that high end in such a nice way. And yes, it is doing the thing, but it just sounds really good and it automatically made my sampled strings have vibe. And I think that's super cool. All right, in this section, it's just a little bit more of a, a faster section. So let's have a listen to it without the 260VU. sample library is just tweaking out but whatever let's go down here to where it gets kind of intense cool now let's turn the 260 vu on those high strings it should really bring out some of the nuance See, it's wonderful on strings too. It's really just a fabulous, fabulous compressor. So I really love the 260VU2 on vocals. Now this is a recording I did a while ago and yes, I did not have, or no, I did not have the 260VU at, at the time, but it's a great example. The artist is Gasoline Heart and uh, it's a great way to show you how good this is on a vocal bus. So let's do it without it first. I'm heading off to the future. Not interested in starting fights. There's no such thing as no such thing. One of these days, maybe I get it right. So sick. Now let's hear it with it. I'm heading off to the future. Not interested in starting fights. Now, one thing I really like doing is I always like to have a compressor on my vocal bus post effects because for whatever reason, I like to hear the effects pumping as well. I think it's really cool. Let's go to a chorus and listen to these. This section's awesome. Let's forget all of our problems. The only problem is I'm the problem. Let's forget all of our problems. The only problem is that I'm the problem. Now you can hear it's just kind of finishing it for me. It's EQing it. It's compressing it. It's doing all these things. It's like spatially doing some wild stuff. It's just a really cool compressor and I wish everyone could have one. I think it's awesome. It's awesome on vocals too. So what I think makes this compressor so cool 
is just the vibe and the nostalgia of how it sounds. I think if you had this, you could apply it to many things going in. You could process things through it just to give it a different feeling, a different edge that we need sometimes, especially in digital recording. Plugins are amazing. I love them. I have them all. I'll forever love them. But there's something about running to these hardware units that is just inspiring and fun. So I encourage you to try something out or any kind of hardware just to push yourself further and uh, be inspired in your recording. Thanks a lot.